Max, my friend. Hello. Hello, teacher. How's it going? I'm fine. Good, good. What about you? Oh, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy that it's Thursday because that means that we only have one more day of work. I work Monday through Friday. But Max, I have three jobs, Max. Three jobs. Whoa. You know, they're little jobs, but still it's three jobs, you know? Jose, how you doing? How would I like to teach? Yeah, it, it feels it really nice, Max. I like it. I like it a lot. Hello, hello, Jose. Good evening. What do you need to teach, uh, like, here in English Corporativo? You know, um, I want to say, you, there's a few things, Max. So do you really want to do it, right? Do you really want to do it? So what is it that you want to do? Do you want to really teach people because you enjoy doing it or do you want to make money, right? So there, those are the two things. So um, what you need to be able to teach is your high school diploma. If you have any certificates, um, if you have a university study uh, regarding teaching English, now, some of these you can, some of these you don't need. For example, you don't need a bachelor degree to be able to teach English. But if you have it, it's, it's a plus. You can get a certification to be able to teach. Now, for that certification, you might need it in some cases. Like for in order to be able to teach some some of the classes because they have a, a special requirement you might need a special certificate if you don't have these two experience with giving classes of any of, of any sort uh, your high school diploma and i would say that experience max experience in a classroom setting lo podemos decir así yeah. Because because you can you could have been, um, you know, you could have been teaching somebody something else. For example, you were teaching somebody how to use Excel. And you did that for a year. But that experience that you that you got during that one year, it, it works fantastically well. So you can use that. Now, I got experience. There we go. All right. So now the other portion is. What level of English do you want to teach? Yeah, I need to speak right English. That is correct. So if you want to, if you want to do basic English, you can do it, right? You can do it. They don't really ask you that much because basic English is, you know, is the starting point. Uh, a, B, C, D, numbers and stuff like that. But as as you go up that ladder of going from basic to intermediate to advanced your English also has to be at that level. It has to be better. It has to be. Well, yeah. I mean, remember, you're going to be talking to people and they're going to tell you, hey, teacher, I want to hear you talk. Yeah. A ver. I'm going to, to take, for example, students from an intermediate level to the next level. I, I need to be in at a the, higher level. At the above level, at correct? Advanced. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is recommended. Now, you maybe you don't talk English to a perfection because remember, we all have accents, but your grammar skill is fantastic. I, I have I have been to teachers. Well, I have been to classes where teachers have such such command of grammar that even with the accent, you still learn from them. So it, it's, you know, you could go that route as well because um, some teachers are really good with just, you know, kind of transferring the information and some teachers are really good with grammar and transferring the information. And that that is also really, really good. So eh, la gramática es muy, muy importante, Max. So if you can get a hold of that, 
I would say, you know, success. You know, I I used to go to the university like 10 years ago, no, maybe 12 years ago. And I passed grammar one, grammar two, and advanced grammar. Hey, that well, that's good. Grammar, grammar is really absolutely necessary. It was very difficult at the beginning. It was, yeah, I can imagine. What I know about grammar in Spanish is because that English grammar class. Nice. Okay, so it helped out in in like the real life and with what we do every day. That's good to hear, Max. Now. Remember, right? Whatever you want to do, Max, you can do it. You are the master of your universe. Puchica, hago este teacher. Ya me está pompeando. Tú puedes, Max. Tú puedes. You can do it, Max. Whatever you set your mind to, you can do it. So hopefully it works out, right? Hopefully it works out. I will try, but it. It's easier said than done. That that is also true, right? But but you know you you know hard work, dedication. Max, one day we're gonna have a teacher meeting. Yeah, vamos a estar, and we're gonna get really wasted, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Con el teacher y, y Rafael también, porque Rafael. Hmm. Raf, hello. Daniela, hello. Jarvin, hello. Dennis Calderon, hello. Hola, Iris. Hello, hello. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, good. Doing good. I'm feeling good. I was telling my friend Max how, you know, it, it's Friday for me. I get a little bit of rest on tomorrow, Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, which is really good, right? It's always good to have the weekend. If you guys are working on the weekend, you know, hang hang in there, hang in there. Uh, fuerza, fuerza. And All how right. many classes do you teach, teacher? I do two classes and I have a regular work, a regular, I'm gonna say that I teach two different classes and I have my regular working job. Uh, at right, a call yeah. center. Yeah, well, it's called now, now it's called freelancing. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Freelancer? Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you guys that freelancing is the best way to do it if, if you already are fed up, right? If you don't want to deal with the call center environment and you want to get out of it, you can begin freelancing and it, it works pretty good. Now, in order for you to do freelance, we, we I do recommend that you guys get a little bit of experience because most of the jobs that you get have to do with um, you already knowing how to do everything. They Nobody trains you. So for example, let me give you guys an example. Um, I received an email and they said, hey, we have this proposition for you, for you to come and do this job for one month. And I said, well, you know, it fits the description of what I want to do. And they said, okay, well, come on. They met me on day number one and they said, this is your tool. This is how you log in. You can start. Y that was it. Nada That's más. It. That's it. And so every other job that I received as a freelance has been like that. There's no training because the idea is that you're already a professional, that you already know what you're doing and you don't need guidelines. Um, so no tenes manager, no tenes a alguien que te, un supervisor. Um, you report in what in the morning. Kind of, what kind of work do you do? Oh, my goodness. I, I've been involved with, uh, for example, right now what I'm doing is relationship, generating relationship or I want to say maintaining relationships. So my company, the company that's paying me, what they do is they provide a service to a customer. And that service can last anywhere between one month all the way up to 12 months. So if the client only stays with the company for two or three months and they say goodbye, they, they, they send me his name. 
And so I contact them and I do a small survey. You know, I ask them how, how everything went. And I start to ask him, why did he leave? And what would it take for him to come back with us? And so I want to say that it's a form of retention, but it is also maintaining the relationship. But in order to do that, I guess you have to have at least a little information about the company or... Oh, yeah. Or well... They give me access to everything, the, the files, the background, what happened, how much they were charging, uh, how much are we willing to, to invest to get them back into the company and get them a new contract. And so this is the best part. This is the best part, Max. For every person that comes back and re-signs, they pay me. Oh. Each you have to time. study a lot. You that you do because remember that if, if a customer is leaving, there's a reason why he's leaving, and yeah, so that's it, the retention, right? Yeah, it is. That's it retention. Is. Yes, that's it is. Retention. Now, okay. uh -huh. this one is for businesses, so I am retaining businesses. It is not one person. I, I'm trying to retain the company with the big fishes yes yes and so that's why every time i hold one they pay me so it, it's really good it's i mean it's really good at the in the long run i i really really like what i'm what i'm doing now and then i am doing one of the classes well I, i'm doing two classes and so i was telling my friend max that i had actually you know it feels like i have three jobs but i really like it so it's okay right Right. Y por eso es que el teacher regala dinero a lo loco, porque pues sí, uno que... Hey, no. Teacher, I'm about to finish the platform. Hey, fantastic. Max, remember, picture, we want the picture, we need the picture. I want my money. And we, wait, I never said money, <laughs> I never said money. I said a special gift. I said a special gift. So keep that in mind, right? You want it, teacher. Ah, no, usted, usted, usted el quequecito, madre, acuérdese. My birthday's coming up and I'm expecting that cake. All right, everybody, welcome. And I, and I receive money. Yeah. Ah, there we go. We could do that. Yeah, we could do that. So, so like I was telling you guys, um, whatever you want to do, I, I recommend that you, you know, kind of push for it and drive and, and get it. Now, I think that the experience that I received through my years in all these call centers that I worked, I, I, me formaron, me ayudaron, and they made me what I am today. And, and, and I'm really thankful for that. So um, it, it is always recommended when you guys get a job, you know, give your 100% and do your job well because you are getting something out of it, right? You are getting a little, even though it seems like you're not, most of the jobs do have something more to offer other than money, right? And so keep that in mind when you guys when you guys get in, all right? All right, so let's go, let's go. Uh, where are we? Where did we leave? Well, we made it all the way to the midterm, I believe. Is that correct? How are you guys doing with the midterm? Is everything okay? Everybody was able to work on the midterm. Everybody was able, well, if, if you guys haven't gotten there yet, um, what we can do is we can, we're not gonna work on it. We're not gonna, um, I don't wanna say that. I don't wanna review it. But what I wanna do is I just wanted to show you guys how it's set up, where it has different sections, A, A, A through E, and each of the sections, has to do with modules that you guys have already seen. Uh, so for example, uh, section A talks about listening. And what you do is you listen to a conversation or, a, or an audio track. And from there, you guys are able to answer. And there's a part one and part two. So be careful with that. That is, this is the midterm exam section A. And then once you guys have completed that, you go into section B. And here, all you have to do is choose the correct word. Okay. 
once you guys have done all of those, you can select next and you go into section C. Complete the sentence and then they tell you what to do and they tell you how to fill it in. Go into the next section, which is the reading comprehension. Read the document and based on what you read, you answer. Once you complete it, you move into section 4.0 and that's where we're at at this very moment okay so my recommendation is for you guys to try to get as much work done on the platform aim to get that 80 percent so that you guys can get that certificate and then once you guys have completed it move on to like the different sections and begin working on sections 4.0 and beyond then it's done midterm. That's what I that's what I take it. That's what I take that you completed. Good for you. Well done. Okay. All right. So wanted to incorporate a little bit of break rooms for us. And I believe we are going to be able to do it. Yeah. Okay. I am going to break rooms. And we're going to start off with a quick introduction. And I want us to, I want you guys to be as normal and casual as possible. Don't think of us as strangers. We are friends. We are family. We're classmates. Yo ya me tatué aquí. Aquí dice clase de las 9 p.m. 2021. The tattoo has been made. We are no longer strangers. So the idea is for you guys to begin with an introductory greeting. Hi, hello, my name is Roberto Martinez, right? What's your name? And I want you guys to start sharing information back and forth. I want you guys to go as far as possible, including social media, Facebook, WhatsApp, ahora, ahora. Esto no significa que nos vamos a agregar, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdense que some of us might not like that or want that. Entonces, ahora, and if it's okay for both of the parties, for you guys to add each other, then it's okay. But otherwise, don't, right? Let's not, let's not do that um, unless you really absolutely want to. But once again, no, no es necesario. So share the social media experience, um, email addresses, uh, anything that has to do with, you know, the information age, or como le decimos, la informática. A ver, let me see how many groups we can build. Let me go ahead and begin that. And we'll have, uh, we'll take maybe 15, 20 minutes for that, so that everybody can really get, let me see here. Let me see, I can get actually, whoa. Let me see how that turns. I think we're a little bit uneven. Uh, let me see. Okay, I think I am going to add a room. Okay. Jose, voy a crear un room y vas a quedar solito, pero es porque yo voy a llegar contigo. So, Jose, we're going to, we're going to, you're going to be my partner and okay. everybody else should be set with their partners. Okay. All right. There's, you guys are going to see a little pop-up that says accept. Please accept the invitation to the break room and you guys are going to get it now. And I'll check in from time to time. Bessie, Rafael.
there, there should be an invitation. Just click on it. Hello, Jose. Hello. How's it going, Jose? How's it going? All right, so this is how we're going to work this out. Remember, let's imagine that we're meeting each other for the first time. And so you get to start off, and then I'll follow you and provide you information and ask you questions, okay? Okay. All right, let's go, Jose. Hello. Hi. My name is Gonzalo Jimenez. I'm from Usulutan. I'm 35 years old. Um, I'm single. And I went to the university. I have a bachelor's degree in business administration. Business, nice. Okay. Yeah, I was working for a trial shop for five years. But then I have an accident and I have four years that I don't work. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and now, bravo. now, real quick, how come Gonzalo? So it's Jose Gonzalo Mejia. Yeah. That's it. Okay. And what type of accident did you have? Was it a car accident? Uh, and a mor motorcycle. Motorcycle accident. Okay. All right. Yeah. Do you do you still ride motorcycles or no more? I still ride. <laughs> you still drive? Okay. All right. Well, yeah. You you know accidents will happen. Right, so you gotta keep writing. Okay, and Gonzalo, do you do you like to be called Gonzalo or Jose? Um, everybody call me Gonzalo. Okay, all right. Nobody calls you Chalo. No. Oh, all right, Gonzalo. I have a friend. I have a friend. His name is Gonzalo, and we call him Chalo. Uh, yes, only one. Uh, uh, an auntie. Okay. Um, see, my my father's sister. Yeah. She called me like that, but I, I, don't, I don't see her so, um, so often. It's not okay. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. All right. And have you always lived in Usulutan? Um, yes, I always live here. Okay. Okay. Give me one second. Uh, Gonzalo, hold on. Let me see. Okay. Let me jump into, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Remember where okay. we left off, Gonzalo. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Hello, hello, Raf. You're alone? Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's no problem. Hey, look, hold on. Let me go ahead and change you. Let me see what we can do. I think that we can do, let me see where, I can't even, Raphael. Yeah, there we go, let me go ahead. So tell Jose, that I moved you into the room because you lost your partner, okay? All right, there we go. Did I move? Hold on, let me. There we go, I'm alone. All right. Mm. Let me see who else is here, Jose. Unassigned. Dennis. What happened?
Wow, room two. Room two. Connection is really, really bad. Where are you, Raf? <laughs> Raf, you're with me, man. <laughs> I can hear you. Let me see who else is supposed to be here. I think Dennis and Luis were not able to log in. That's what happened. Let me check. Hello, Gonzalo. Yeah, hello. Did Rafael make it to the breakout room or he didn't make it? Um, you know what? He was supposed to be here. Um, it seems that we lost some people along the way. So let me see. Let me see. Who is it? Let me see. We have Bessie. Well, everybody seems to be okay. Luis Enrique is over here in room two by himself. Let me see. Let me try to connect them here with us. Okay. We're in room six. Let me see. Room six. A bunch of us here. I was supposed to move. There it is. Luis, hello, my friend. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I'm, I'm really okay. late. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. And you know what? The only thing was that we were having conversations. So we're doing introductions. I'm going to leave you here with uh, with Jose. I mean, Rafael. Rafael is trying to connect. I'm going to take Rafael to another room. Uh, let me see. There's in room six, there's a well, bunch I of... I was talking with Dennis, but the, the, what happened uh, with Dennis? And I don't know. He disappeared. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even appear on here anymore. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Rafael to room number two. Okay. And then Jose, te dejo aquí con Luis. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Sorry about okay. that. Okay. Let me see if Thank I can you. get out of here. <laughs> How do I get out of here? All right, here we go. We're set. We're set. We're... Go ahead, guys. Okay. Raf, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Um, stay here with me in this room because we lost a couple of people okay. and it's a little bit uneven. All right, Rafael, we're doing an introduction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Daniela needs help. Hold on. Stay right here, Rafael. I'll be right with you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. We need yes. help. I what? can hear Iris. Oh, then Iris and I, I can't even see Iris anymore. I think we lost her. And we have Dennis too, who's out, who's outside. <laughs> All right, there it is, Iris. We, we hear you, Iris. We can see you. Let me see, Iris. Can you, can you hear us? Okay. Yes. How about we conduct an online interview? And it, what we can do, Iris, since we can't hear you, how about we have Daniela introduce herself to you and then you can ask her questions in the chat. Daniela, what do you think about that? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Iris, yeah. is that okay with you? All right. Remember, use the chat to ask the questions. All right. I'll be back. I'll be back, guys. I'll be okay. Back. Thank you, teacher. No problem. No problem. Now I can't leave. Now I can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, my goodness. Your Facebook uh, information about, I don't know, some some kind of information. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Y con el mute puesto. Hey, que bueno que se ofrece. Damn, this mute. All right. How's it going, guys? Everything okay? 
well, with my first uh, meeting, I was terrible with Rafael. Okay, all right. I couldn't hear anything, and I just uh, all right <laughs> the, the session, and then try to connect it again. Got it, got it. No worries, no worries. Okay, but you guys are okay. You guys are okay here, right? I, I don't know if if David have a question. I'm trying to ex. Uh... David, how you doing? Uh, no, no, I I don't have a question. Then all right, explain. All right, okay, good. Rem remember, David, try to share a little bit of information as well. Okay. All right, all right. All right, thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. Dennis, share information with me, you, please. All right. Uh, Hold on, guys, I can't, I can't leave. <laughs> what the? Hold it, I'm supposed to be able to leave and it doesn't let me leave. You know what? And that's what I'm gonna do, okay. All right, guys, sorry about that. Raf. Uh, uh, you good? Are you good, my friend? All right, all right. It sounds a little bit broken up, but I think we could still do it. I think we could still have our conversation. All right, so let me let, let's do this. How about we practice Raf like an interview at work? You want to try that? That sounds good. Okay. All right. So um, let me see. I'm going to ask you. I think you can check on your chat. Let me see if it comes out. Yes. Can you see my chat? Yes, I can see it. Okay. All right. So, Raf, let, let's do it like that. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Rafael Antonio Monge. I live in Isaco City. And once of my hobbies are playing soccer and playing piano. Those are activities that I like the most to do. Because I consider that they relax me a lot. On the other hand, I've always considered myself as an outside person. I've always tried to do everything well. I've always try to go the extra mile. And I'm a person who really likes to work with people. I love okay. helping people, and that's what I, I like to do. Okay. Uh, talk to me about your soccer experience. How long have you been playing soccer? Are you still playing now? Yes, I'm still playing soccer, and I've been playing soccer for 10 years. Okay. But I was a child, a professional soccer player in the division from El Salvador. That's and nice. I played in Okay. Okay. I could say. All right. Now you mentioned that you were a people person and that you like to help out. Can you give me an example where you, as a person, help somebody out? Yes. I remember that when I was in the university. And one of my of my classmates uh, was working, so he didn't have enough time to do his homework because he was really to uh, he was about not to pass the the the, the semester. So he, uh, I, when he asked me for help, just tried. Okay. okay, all right. Now, can you give me an example of when you have been confronted? by somebody who has been really, really angry. What have you done in that in, in those cases? Well, I, uh, 
Rav, Rav, we lost you. We lost you. Oh, there's the teacher. There's the teacher. Oh, yes. Here Hi. is the teacher. Teacher, <laughs> I, I, I saw the video. I understood the video, but I don't know one, uh, what do you need uh, in, in, in the about the, the, the video? The, the, are you talking about the one for passive voice? That's 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 the 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 answer, teacher. What we have to because we didn't understand what we have to do on this on this group. Oh, Bessie, I'm so sorry. You were <laughs> supposed to have a conversation with Adeline, an introduction, yeah. like if it was an introduction, and you were supposed to ask each other as many questions about one another as you can. Oh, I we know. We do that. Yeah, Bessie, we told just... me, Bessie told me other, other scenes. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, don't she, don't she worry. Told me, uh, she told me, she shared she was sharing the, uh, the screen. The video. Don't uh, worry. The video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, don't, I, I didn't understand. Uh, the, uh, I saw don't the worry. video. I liked it because the, the, the man is, he was playing the guitar okay. and see the other man with him and they play the, the, no. and a song. Don't uh, worry about it. Would it be okay for you guys to do the interaction? It, it, Can you guys do the interaction now? Yes, we are. We 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 were talking about each other. Okay, then we, let's continue that. Let's do that. Uh, Adeline was telling me that the the pronunciation in the English is better and some things like that. Okay. We are speaking. All right. Like now, yeah. now, remember that. I know. I know. Bessie it's, is speaking more. It's speaking more. And uh, congratulations because the, the last course, of course, I I remember uh, Bessie speaking slow. And, and, and now she's right speaking now, very She's very fast. It's very it's fast. Yes, it's fast. her English but is I very good. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know how he, is she. Uh, what she am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look. So, what so I'm doing? speaking more. So, I'm speaking more with more people. I, I think am that, speaking that's what it is. You. I think that's I what it is, Betty. But I speak about but, the tourism, about the electrician, about accounting. About the the, can, the 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 draws, but, but I yeah. Now, talk me. talk about each other, about you and Bessie, what you guys do, what you guys like, what you guys don't like, favorite music, favorite oh, food, yes. jobs, Thank all of that stuff. Sure. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, this okay. I, I... Rafa. <laughs> hey man, you look. I put, so we're, we're still missing a portion. Raf, let me tell you, man, uh, well done. Now, there is a word that, that I heard. I heard you say, estil. Okay. This one, this one, when you say it, you want to say it like this. I am still, I see, still playing soccer. I'm still. Still. Still playing. There we go. You got still. it. Hala, hala okay. la ese. Still. Okay. And then, Yo. and then, and then you said there was a time at my university. But repeat after me. University. 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 All right, we're, we're going to keep practicing this one, university, because you have to, there, there has to be like a, like a, I, I want you to sound as natural as possible with this one. And then the last word was because. Okay, because. 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 So if you can pronounce it, it should sound like this, because. Así, mira. 
well, sorry, you have to pronounce the B, I, I see, because. Because. So when you're saying it, right, I want you to say, I want you to sound it out and say, because, because. because. All right, because. hold on, hold on, Raf. Hold on, let me check on the other room. Sorry. Yeah. sorry, sorry. Um, how do you pronounce um, considered the past form of considered? Ah, all right. So because that would be con. Let me see. This one right here. Yeah. Okay. I see, mira. Considered. Considered. See, so it starts off with a big con. Okay. Considered. And then todo chiquito. Sorry, I think I misspelled it. No, no. Con so considered. considered. Yeah. So it starts off loud, con, and then it drops. Considered. Okay. All right. Think about think about other words. I'll be right back, Raf. Sure. All right, all right. Let me see Daniela, Josue, Max. Ah, let me go here with these guys. Digging nowadays. I don't know why, but in my case, it's difficult. Feel the same. I feel the same. Music. Yeah. How's the conversation going, guys? Oh, it's really good. We're speaking about music, video games. There we go. There we go. That's it. So, Josue, Max, this is the thing. Whenever you find yourselves not knowing what to talk about, I want you guys to think about something that you like. Hey, man, what's your favorite music? And then the other person will say, ah, oh, you know, I don't have a favorite music. But you can kind of keep going with that conversation. Do you have a favorite singer? Do you have a favorite movie star? The idea is to, to not stop. All right? And yes, just... we can stop right now, teacher. We're running down. Oh, okay. don't, don't say that, Max. Don't say that. Josue, oh, don't say Josue, what? Josue is really enjoying it. <laughs> No, mira. No, que... teacher, I said that I, we can't stop right it's now. Oh, 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 all right. All right, let's keep going, Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you said let's stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. All right, let's 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 go, Max. I'm out. I'll be right back. Okay. Don't worry, teacher. It's fine that I don't want to do anything when I come my home, so. And what time do you feel your work? At uh, five. And how far yes. is your work from to your house? Uh, Thanks, minutes walking. Walking, and you yes. walk to your work? Yes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, Every single day is close. You do to a lot of exercise. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's close to my house. Ten minutes to your home. Well, you do twenty minutes per day. Yes, in the morning, 10, and... Raf. Hi. All right, did you think about any other words you wanna practice? Mm, no, actually. That was I would it? like to continue with the interview. All right, let's, <laughs> let's, let's do that. Okay, so uh, we talked about your soccer, we talked about past experiences where you showed we were at, can you give me an example of your reaction when somebody was really angry? What did you do and how did you react? Um, so you want to give an experience of what I would do in the TV? Well, let, imagine, have you, have you ever been in a situation where somebody was really angry? Yes, I've been. Okay. They were angry okay. at you. And she was angry. <laughs> okay. What, 
how did okay. you react and how and what was the outcome yes you see when i was in the university actually uh, it um it was when this happened because i remember that a classmate um well we were uh point we were scheduled we we had a schedule sorry a meeting uh in order to do a homework in team okay all right and i remember that this uh, well actually i i was in charge of um tell them when the the meeting uh, was going to be so i really forgot to say to say um i really i really forgot to tell her that the meeting was going to be the next thursday and when she realized she said that i was i had taken her apart and and i didn't want her to participate so she was oh. really angry and <laughs> well I calm down and i explained this okay stop being uh, angry um and and when i adjust, uh, that was the only thing that i could do in that specific moment right okay so what i understood was that you asked her to calm down all right now how did that turn out did she re did she stay mad at you or did you guys eventually uh did she eventually get over and you guys were able to work together again no, I think, uh, we were able to work together um because all explained okay all right all right so right there uh together try to repeat that raf raf i lost you raf raf Sorry, teacher. My no, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, Raf. I actually got David and Dennis. So hold on. Let me see. I think they're gonna pop okay. in anytime. Okay. I wanna ask them. I, I don't I don't know what happened. I think they, they must have gotten lost mm -hmm. in transition. Hey Raf, you're doing uh -huh. you're doing you're doing good, man. Okay. I I think I think we can do some more practices like this to try to get you. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but one thing what I'm still missing, what I'm still missing is to have someone to practice because I, I don't correct. practice to speak. Yeah, I can imagine. No, no worries, David. David, have we lost? Did we lose you I... there for a second? Sorry, sorry, teacher. No, don't worry, David. Are I? I think Daniel. I think we lost him. Was it, were you guys were you guys able to talk a little bit, David? Sorry, sorry, teacher. Repeat, please. Yes, were you guys able to work and talk with? Uh, I believe da Daniel. Uh, yes. Yes. yes with, right. with uh, Dennis. With Dennis. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. And so you guys were able to have that conversation for at least a couple of minutes. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Um, I'm gonna call everybody back. So give me one second. Let me go ahead and pull everybody out. And uh, yes. actually, let me go. I'm, I'm gonna. I am going to do it from here. Okay. There you go.
<laughs> they get 60 seconds. All right, Raphael, well done, sir. David, well done. Thank you, Chris. We got 45. Let me see. I'm going to I'm going to leave out of this one. Okay. And go to the main one. Hold on, guys. You are mute, teacher. <clears throat> Toda la semana. Toda la semana. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, Come Louis. on, teacher. Come on. I know. I know. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, Lord Almighty. All right. Well, you know, guys, let me tell you that we overcame... And let me tell you why. We started to have technical difficulties again with a breakout. And some people went to other places. And, you know, we were, we were like in different rooms. And, and some people did go to the rooms. And you guys were able to carry out the conversations. Thank you very much for that. Um, there was a few people who actually went and were strayed. And they were stranded outside of the room. So we had to go and look for them and try to place them. Uh, but... As an overall, I heard a few of the conversations going on, and let me tell you that I liked, I liked what I heard. Um, did you guys like the exercise, and would you like to keep on doing it next week? Except, of course, we're gonna have uh, time frames, you know, and I think we're gonna be a little bit more specific in what we need to do during these exercises. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm gonna to try to see if we can do like a little PowerPoint presentation before we do it so that you guys know exactly what you guys will be doing. Um, other than that, I, I think that uh, the conversations that I heard were really nice. Uh, try to keep them up. Remember, we're all friends. We're all, uh, you know, we're all classmates. We're all, o sea, aquí en este momento, sí, we're all in the same boat, right? So don't feel like you're nervous. Don't feel like, oh, I'm going to be shy or this guy's going to make fun of me. Yes, we're going to make fun of you, but but it's because we love you, right? It, it's not because we don't care about you. And so that's the idea behind the exercises, and hopefully we can do it uh, all of next week. All right, I'm going to give you guys back four minutes, and I'm going to let you guys go. Yes, Madeline. Uh, no, I wish you all the best and the Valentine's Day. Oh, es cierto. Oh, I don't know what's no. going to happen. Here. It's so sweet. Real, teacher. I don't know oh, what's going to happen. Didn't, you didn't oh, remember man. the day. Oh, you my God. You saved your neck. I wish you all the best, your, my classmates, and the Valentine's Day birthday okay thank you very yeah. much madeline thank you happy valentine's you, everybody you too. Yeah. Para todos. Valentine's. Okay. Para todos. Okay. thank you guys I, my great. dear my okay. dear classmates and my teacher my dear teacher of yeah. course <laughs> yeah wakanda yeah. forever okay. <laughs> thanks Bye. for all have a good have a good night, everybody. Ha bye. Happy Thank Valentine's you, Day. Bye good bye. Night. See you Happy Monday. Weekend. Monday. Happy weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you very I much. I see you on Monday. Take care. Bye. We'll, we'll see you on Monday. Take care, everyone. See you on Monday. See you Thank on Monday. You.